Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install this analog thermometer in the boiler wall of a 10 gallon still uh, permanently using a half inch uh, copper bone. What you're going to need for this of course is a thermometer which you can find the link to below, um, uh, a copper bung here uh, which you can also find the link to, uh, some lead free solder, some water soluble flux, a little bit of sandpaper, um, a drill and some drill bits, uh, some tin snips, and then as far as safety goes, you're going to want some gloves, safety glasses, and of course you're going to need a plumbing torch as well. Alright, our 10 gallon still will actually hold 10 full gallons of mash. Um, but sometimes I get lazy and I, I don't make 10 gallons of mash, I may only make 5 gallons of mash if I'm doing a smaller batch and I'll only fill it halfway up. Um, so I'm going to put this thermometer a little lower than is probably ideal because I want it to always be in the liquid. Um, if this were a 1 or a 5 gallon still, I'd probably install the thermometer about 2 thirds of the way up um, to get it further away from the heat source and to get a better temperature reading, a more accurate temperature reading. Um, but again, since I don't always fill this all the way up, I'm going to put the thermometer about six inches off the bottom. So what I'll do is just pull a tape measure out and make a little mark at six inches. Okay, you're going to want to make a hole in the boiler wall just big enough uh, for the end of this copper bone. So what I'm going to do is just put the copper bung up to the still here and take a pen and trace the outline and that's what I'll cut when I'm making the hole for this bung. All right, in addition to sanding the burrs off of the edge of the hole, um, I also just roughed up the copper a little bit with the sandpaper, and I roughed up the edge of this fitting um, with some sandpaper as well, because um, it helps the uh, pieces stick together when you solder. So what I'm going to do is just take some flux here and put a little on the copper around this hole, and then I'll put a little bit of flux on my fitting here. And then drop the fitting in and we'll solder it together. Okay, when you're soldering the fitting into the boiler wall, um, what you have to keep in mind is that the fitting is a lot um, thicker than the boiler wall is. So um, you're going to want to apply most of the heat while you're heating it up to the actual fitting. And once you get the fitting warm, then apply uh, some heat to the boiler wall. Alright, now that I have the uh, fitting installed in the boiler wall. The last step is to add some Teflon tape to the threads on my thermometer and to screw the thermometer into the fitting. Um, what you want to do is hand tighten the thermometer and then snug it up with a pair of channel lock pliers. <laughs> 